What is going on guys, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing and the semi review here of the Ulephone Armor 3. This device is really, really cool in the sense that it has a decent processor, a super huge battery. It's actually bigger than my Doogie S80. This one has a 10,300 million battery and it still has NFC and all these great features that we like on smartphones nowadays. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look here at the box really quickly. First of all, this box is yellow. I never seen a yellow box or at least in a very long time. On the bottom right hand side corner here, we can see the certifications. It is IP69K and IP68. It is waterproof, shockproof, and also dust proof, which makes it ideal for those of you like the picture here shows. If you like camping, you are always outdoors or you work at a construction site or you simply drop phones all the time. This is the way to go, guys. This is going to save you money in the long run because of the fact that the phone will may not break so easily as other devices normally do. On the back side of the box here, well, we got some of the quick specifications. We can see it has an 18 by 9 screen. It is a 5.7 inch display. It has a resolution of 2160 by 1080 and it comes with 429 PPI. It has the Helio P23 octa-core processor. I believe this one is clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. And uh, this uh, CPU also, it is known as the MTK6763. It has a fingerprint scanner as well. It has face unlock. It comes with uh, two cameras only. It has one in the front and one in the back. The selfie camera is a 13 megapixel sensor with wide angle. The back camera is a 21 megapixel sensor made by Sony. Then here we can see again the display size. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal memory. A 10,300 milliamp battery, which is just slightly bigger. I believe it's uh, 220 milliamps more than the Doogie S80. And this one comes with the Android 8.1. So now let's go ahead and check the content inside of the box and the first thing we find here is that super huge rugged Ulephone Armor 3. Now as I mentioned before this one is a bit smaller in terms of thickness and also the display this one is a 5.7 inch. The Doogie S80 had a 6.2 inch so this one feels a little bit better in the hand. We do have stereo speakers. The Doogie S80 did not come with uh, stereo speakers, but it had wireless charging. This one does not have wireless charging. So as you can see guys, it is a give and take type of scenario. It all depends if having stereo speakers a little better for you, then I will go with this phone. If having wireless charging is really important to you, then go with the one that I already mentioned. On the side here, well, we have the volume rockers up and down. Now this is a dedicated uh, walkie talkie uh, button right here on the side guys unfortunately this is not the 3t model and uh, even though it has the button here on the side this is just gonna just be a dummy button basically because we do not have that feature on this phone on the side here we can see um, the frame this side is actually made of plastic and it says waterproof on the bottom side here we have the flap here covering the usb type c as you guys can appreciate right there on the right hand side it says shock proof and again same scenario here this is made of plastic we have the fingerprint scanner on the side the power key here on the top we have a opening here this is for the antenna if you guys had the 3t model i guess they use the same body then this is where the antenna goes connected you have to unbolt this and the antenna screws right in very similar to what we saw on the doogie s80 on the back here what we have uh, a mix between plastic and metal. This cover piece right here is made of metal and this is where your SIM card goes guys. So yes, you have to unassemble this back side of the phone in order to get to the SIM card tray as well as the memory uh, expansion. It does have um, memory expansion availability up to 128 gigabytes. It is a dual SIM, dual SIM by device and both of them are nano size. Then here we have the secondary microphone on the front side here. We have the primary microphone. There's like a little hole right there and that's where the primary microphone sits. And as we can tell right here, it is giving us the logo for NFC waterproof and dust proof which is really really cool and believe it or not guys the other day i dropped the phone as i was testing it at work and you can see actually some of the scratches right here and let me tell you guys their claims are actually true this thing dropped face down and it didn't have a case because i don't see the need of it this thing has uh, a lot of rubber pieces all over creating like a bumper effect 
and I dropped it face down and the screen survived so I'm really really happy for that uh, by the way again this is the 5.7 inch display here we have the 13 megapixel camera we have the proximity and light sensor as well as a notification LED light and as I mentioned before we have stereo speakers so this time we don't have a notch as you guys can see and this phone does have big bezels but it is understandable this is a rugged device and it is supposed to have bezels so let's go ahead and get it started here while we check the accessories inside of the box so there we have it Yulophone Armor 3 and as this is getting completed inside of the box here well, we get the standard stuff inside here we have well actually something that is not so standard we have some accessories that came included with it and it's like a whole bunch of little things in here so the next one we have is the dongle for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so it doesn't come equipped with it just like we saw on the doogie s80 for some reason guys these companies are all getting rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack i guess now we're gonna have to go wireless completely we have an adapter here from usb type c to micro usb i guess this is for data uh, transferring then here we have another um, USB adapter here now this one is so that you can connect this to your phone and you can actually use this phone for reverse charging as well you can um, charge other devices um, very similar to what we saw in the Doogie S80 with reverse charging so that's exactly what this is and of course you can also connect other things like keyboard mice and um, other accessories available for smartphones which is really nice and that's it for what came in this little tiny box let's go ahead and check the next box I think in here we're gonna have the yep we have the USB cable okay very similar to the OnePlus style same color and it seems of uh, very good qualities and then we have here a I think this is a bicycle mount so you can hook this up to the phone and you can have the phone hooked up to a bicycle which is really cool and it makes sense as you guys saw from the front side of the box um, it looks like a whole bunch of people camping so again that makes sense and that's really nice as well now here we have a little screwdriver this is a hex screwdriver and this is so that you can remove the back cover but now to be honest with you guys I didn't like this design because of the fact that if you don't have the screwdriver and let's say you ran out of power you need to transfer your sim card to another phone now you're screwed you know your sim card is bolted into the phone and you can't get it removed unless you have access to this tool which again is a little bit annoying but I don't know you may have a different opinion about this and then lastly here we have the wall charger and as you can see it's quite huge and I didn't get the one here for America so I will have to get the adapter but yes it is a fast charger which makes sense to put some juice on that humongous 10,300 million battery and here guys we have I believe the manuals and a screen protector so as you can tell it came with a whole bunch of accessories which is really cool and now guys let's go ahead and jump here to the armor 3 and let's see what it's all about so moving along here with the armor 3 on the back side here guys i went ahead and removed the screws holding the plate in place in case you guys were curious about what it looks inside and here we have the sd card expansion as i mentioned before and the two sim card slots i have it connected right now with at&t and the cool part about the armor 3 is that it is currently supporting all the bands here in the usa so it'll work with companies like metro pcs cricket wireless at&t t-mobile but it will not work with Sprint or Verizon. Just keep that in mind. All right, guys, so here we have the Armor 3 all set up and ready to go. I went ahead and added my fingerprint as well as my face unlock feature, and it is working as intended here when the phone is asleep. You guys can actually see this time since it is located on the side, how fast it is. And well, I have to admit, guys, that it is not the fastest that I've seen out there in the market, at least when it comes to the fingerprint, but at least it works. And if you guys are grabbing it here from the left hand side, I would recommend that you use this finger in order to record the uh, fingerprint because it makes it a little bit natural when you guys are unlocking it. Let me see if I can actually show you that here. And there we go. If you guys do the index finger, it'll feel a little bit awkward as you need to grab it a little bit towards the lower side. So if you guys want something that feels natural, just record this finger and you're going to thank me later. 
Now when it comes here to the face recognition, it does it very well just like we saw on the Doogie S80. Right now here you guys can see that it doesn't lock it very quickly and I even have the camera on front of me. It takes literally seconds so at least the face unlock is working well. Right now it didn't do it because of the fact that again I have here the camera in front of me but most of the time it does read it quite well. So let's try here the fingerprint again. So you have two options here guys you can either have it with the face unlock if that doesn't work for some reason then just do your fingerprint and you should be all set to go so here we got the UI it's a pretty clean UI and the cool part about Ulephone is that they don't put a lot of bloatware into their devices which is really nice so the phone thanks to the Helio P23 is performing quite well and here I went ahead and performed the Antutu benchmark and you're gonna see that I got almost 100,000 so far my Huawei Mate 20 Pro gave me a score of almost 300 or actually over 300,000 but then when I tested it again which I'm going to do in a separate video um, I got a little bit less so a true flagship device scores something like this this phone scores something like this but keep in mind guys that this phone right here and other flagships out there usually average between $800 to $1,000 this thing is only $200 so for that I had to give it you know some credits I think it did quite well on the scoring and if we go here into my device, well, we can see that the GPU here is the Mali G71, which is quite basic. Again, we got the MTK6763, the display size, 5.7 inches, uh, 429 PPI, as you guys can see. Again, on the back, we have a 21 megapixel camera and a 13 megapixel front camera. There we can see the battery. But now, when it comes to the battery on the Armor 3, that's where things get very amazing on this phone. And I guess that, well, this particular device has two main highlights. And one of them is the fact that, yes, it has a big battery. Second, it has a rugged build. And third, it has some decent loud stereo speakers on the front side. So I guess those are the three main highlights for this particular device. But now one that really attracted me the most is the battery lifetime guys. You won't believe that I haven't had to charge this device since I got it out of the box. And that was about four days ago. I've been using it as my primary phone here and I even have my AT&T SIM card connected into it. I set up all my accounts on here for the most part the ones that I use the most. And again guys, I haven't had to charge this device in four days. Now before that, when I went here to the battery information right here, let me show you. This device is showing that it was last fully charged 15 days ago. And I guess that had to do with the manufacturing. You guys can see it right there. And um, I've been using it now, says screen usage since fully charged. Now that really doesn't make sense because I've been using it quite a bunch. It says six hours and 60 minutes. But trust me guys, ever since I got this phone out of the box, I haven't had to charge it. And it's actually incredible. I mean, this thing has a a super big battery that's why it's so bulky and it's really really heavy I will have to guess that this phone is at least a little over 300 grams so it is not a light device whatsoever and I also mentioned that I dropped it already there's a little bit of uh, damage here on this uh, orange trim but uh, it didn't crack the screen so I guess that all their advertisements are true so that's really really cool so if you go here into connected devices um, we got of course the Bluetooth and all that but one that will attract many people out there is the fact that we have NFC myself I use it very often so having this will allow me to complete um, Google payments and that's really really nice and appreciated if you go here also into settings guys we can see we have a smart assistant on here and it's giving us all the options like I said before this button right now is not doing anything I wish that if they were gonna add the button to at least make it like a shortcut button for something but in this particular case it is supposed to be used for the walkie-talkie but this model does not come with the walkie-talkie enabled so for that reason this is just a dummy button which I was a little bit disappointed about but if you guys really care about that feature just get the 3T model it's a little bit more but it will have the walkie-talkie feature. Now here guys, when it comes to the cameras, again, this is the back 21 megapixel camera. It does a great job with colors, focus, and overall quality of the picture, um, you know, the saturation, all of these great features that we see on cameras, this phone does it very well. But now, something I noticed is that it is a little bit laggy, especially when you're moving the phone around it tends to look like it's just choppy and it doesn't feel very fluent so I think that maybe it just needs a software update that's just my best guess right now because the camera does a great job recording and by the way you can only record in 1080p it doesn't go 4k 
but like I said guys for the most part you know considering that this is a $200 device it does quite well and even on low light conditions it does very well I would say a little bit better just slightly better than the Doogie S80 not by much but now the Doogie S80 didn't have this issue with the camera where if you move it around you know it feels like it just stutters a little bit for some reason that's my only complaint but again overall the camera is really good and you guys will definitely enjoy it and then here we have the selfie camera this is the 13 megapixel sensor guys and it is also doing the job quite well it has wide angle as well as face recognition so this is something that i appreciate on any phone maker out there so at least these guys thought about the camera slightly a bit uh, keep in mind that now we don't have that dual camera setup that we have seen on other devices including the doogie s80 that i just reviewed recently but it's still guys the camera like i said before it will not disappoint you keep in mind that it's definitely not comparable to cameras like on the huawei mate 20 pro or the samsung galaxy s9 plus but it will certainly do the job for you and for the most part you will be satisfied the next thing i want to test here guys is the loud speakers here on the front side the stereo speakers they sound really good and i'm about to show you that here in just a second for copyright purposes i'm going to show you one of my own videos and let's play here the latest one which is about the out of box um, rear view mirror let's go here let's start this video again from the beginning and hopefully you guys can agree that it sounds really good so let's increase the volume here to the max there we go and one two three here it is you're here from Maji and Jay. Today is super excited that I finally got here my AutoVox rear view camera guys. I got this directly from Amazon with the Prime service for only $138 and in my opinion anything that has this word in it which is safety it is always worth it this particular camera will be installed in my wife's car which is the Toyota 4Runner 2013 unfortunately her vehicle is not equipped with a rear view camera so for that reason installing this will make it 100% worth it as well guys we heard the quality of the loudspeakers you can't deny the fact that these are super loud guys and not just super loud but they also have quality into it and they sound very nice and crisp you can even hear my breath every time i speak here on the video which is really cool and overall you guys would be very satisfied here with these two speakers especially if you like to do gaming it will sound amazing now this is something that well the previous doogie s80 was lacking is the fact that well the loudspeaker was actually on the back side and it was loud but it sounded like uh, just like a cheap speaker. It didn't sound nice and and crisp. Like I like to say, it sounded more like an old-fashioned speaker. I can't really explain it, guys, but trust me, this phone definitely has better speakers, but the other one has wireless charging. So again, you need to determine which one is more important to you. So now guys, with this being said, I think that we have now completed here the unboxing and the semi-review of the Ulephone Armor 3. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this beast. Don't forget to like this video, click on the bell, continue subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one.